guys, good evening. So today I'm here in Subarnabhumi Airport in Bangkok and it's like 8.30 p.m. right now. In case you're following me on Instagram, you know why I'm here. In case you are not, so here is my ID again. Go ahead and follow. So people who are not following me on Instagram, here is an update. I'm here in Bangkok for like next five days and I'm shooting films for two big brands. One is the Pullman, other is the Hayat Group. So I'm also making or working on my Bangkok film, which is again sponsored by Hayat Group. Big thanks to them. So right now I need to stop talking, start walking because I need to walk for I guess 700 meters to go to the visa and arrival center, sign the papers and then we'll go get my baggage. It's a Sunday and I did not go for a ride today because I had to pack a lot of stuff for my camera gear, dresses, stuff, lot of stuff again. 25 kg check-in baggage and more than 20 kg for my hand baggage super huge uh, well the best thing is we have a direct flight from Bhubaneswar to Bangkok good news but वो कहते हैं ना जब एक द्वार खुलता है और एक द्वार बंद हो जाता है so we have a direct flight good news and the bad news is drones are banned in Thailand now I don't know why but it's really a bad news I'm not traveling with my drone this time sad pretty sad and I'd also asked my client to get the permissions, but he could not get the permissions because the agencies you have to take approval are like four or five agencies and they're all are government agencies. You know, government kitna fast hoti hai, very fast. So, it was obvious we did not get the permission in a short notice because it was just like seven or eight days since my contract got approved by Hayat Group. So, when I asked for the permission, it took time, so we could not get that. But that's okay, I guess we will get the shots anyway. So, now I need to go ahead and get my baggage I guess Air India a lot of people claim that Air India has a pretty bad worst baggage handling services even I have faced the same twice in my life and it was horrible I just hope I get my baggage this time on time So we got the bags, bags ready and I need to go find a taxi, get myself a 4G SIM card because without internet I am kind of dead. Seems I went off the track from the video title. Well, let me tell you how I saved $250 last week. So it was just last week when my contract was approved by Hayat Group and I started looking for the flights from Bhubaneswar to Bangkok. So and I already knew Air India has a direct flight. I know normally people when they have to book an international ticket, they start looking at Paytm, Clear Trip, Make My Trip, Go IBO. But what I always do is I start looking at the official carrier website first. Because I know they have some kind of buffer when it comes to other booking engines. Like you are going to find a lot of tickets and a lot of flights which are showing unavailable on Clear Trip, Make My Trip, but at the same time they're going to be available on the official carrier website. So I just went ahead and checked the tickets on Air India website and it was showing around 27,800 which was huge I mean I'd seen in media it was like 14,500 or 12,500 so I went to my most loved website skyscanner.com and it was showing just 14,500 and it's not even from any of the Indian website it's from kiwi.com which is a website from Europe and it's a huge famous website so and even I so I just went ahead and got my tickets booked and it took like one hour for kiwi.com to confirm my tickets get me my PNR details went ahead check the PNR on Air India website because you know Indian government website pretty weird always but when I checked the PNR my name was flashing I know the tickets are confirmed because 27,800 and I got the same ticket for 14,500 pretty huge deal right $250 saved I'm going to spend that $250 getting an indie filter maybe so here is a pro tip in case you are looking for an international ticket always 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 go ahead and check at skyscanner.com you may thank me later
Okay, we now need to go ahead and get a 4G SIM card and let me tell you, Bangkok is one of the very few cities in the world where I've seen 4G at its best. Like, Singapore has a pretty good 4G, Bangkok has the best 4G again. Even on many of the American cities, 4G is pretty bad. I mean, worst, worst, worst. Bangkok 4G is amazing. There are a lot of options. The best option which I always recommend is the true 4G. Even I recommend the same to all of my friends. So. I guess I, forget, I might be having more than I guess 10 or 12 SIM cards from True 4G. Uh, almost all are expired, so I need to go get myself a new SIM card first. I have again got the True 4G, and it's just 600 bucks for 5GB, 4GB data, and it's valid for 8 days. Pretty neat deal. Another pro tip, guys if you're in Bangkok, in the Subanabhumi airport, get to the first floor get a taxi get in the queue so you can see how long this queue is so this is going to take at least 30 minutes for me to stand but it's okay i mean if you are getting the taxi from i guess from the second or third floor it's going to cost you like 300,000 baht or something but here it's going to cost somewhere around 1000 baht so that is a pro tip make sure get to the first floor you're in subanabhumi airport Waiting one. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we have the taxi ticket. So we got the taxi ticket. This says lane forty one. I guess lane forty. Well, and that looks like the pink taxi is mine. Why? Why pink? Okay. 485148 looks like the same. Hello. Alright guys, just on my way to the hotel and I guess it's going to take like 20 or 30 minutes to reach the hotel because that is the same area. Whenever I'm coming to Bangkok, I always stay in the same area, that is the Sukhumvit. So I need to go get some Indian food now because I'm already hungry and then we're gonna go shoot some because we have some night scenes to be shot today. I'm going to get the shot, then I have the sunrise tomorrow from few of the viewpoints to be taken. It's pretty tired, I need to go edit the vlog as well. So see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.